As you can see, I spent all day peeling the eggs. It's too hard to do. So I'm going to try and experiment to see if there's any other way to do this. These eggs here, I need to, I've been all day tr trying to get them in there. As you can see, some of them come out all ugly. But I know I'm just going to use them for that. So I'm going to try a different way. At least this is going to be an experiment. But we all going to see it one time and see what it's worth. So what I'm going to do is try to put the eggs in here. And then boil it in there. Let's see what happens. Water boiling. I heard it pop earlier. So let's see. Let me turn this down a little bit. That's going to be a little too hot. Put it down a bit here. I don't know how long to cook this thing. or how much temperature this plastic can take. Go to some of my unknowns. Oh, let me turn that off. About to burn myself. That thing can take the microwave, so I should be able to go up in this for a little while at least. It's got it steaming a little bit. I'm wondering should I take the top off with it, but it's help keeping that down in the water. Remember now this is just an experiment so I'm not sure how this is going to work either. We all going to find out at the same time. Yeah, I think I turned it down too low. Let me turn it back up just a little bit. Everything look good so far. I just get tired of peeling eggs. <laughs> oh, I turned down the room. Ooh. No wonder the water's stopping. how long I had it in there maybe four or five minutes I'm keeping the look on this plastic to uh, see what's going on once I figure out the, the time I need to leave it in here I won't have to sit here and watch this but since it's an experiment I guess I better watch it a little closer than I normally would
This is my little experiment. See, can you boil eggs in a plastic bowl? So far, it looked like it's going to work. But you never know whether it'll work or not until you try it. So let's see. Anything would be better than me standing in the aisle peeling eggs for Thanksgiving. If this would work, oh God, that'll help so much. I can make devil egg sandwich without peeling the uh, shells. And nothing worse than getting shells in your teeth in the middle of eating something. And there's shells all over the place. All in your mouth. And cutting your gums. I'm going to give that to you about... 35 and then I'm gonna take a look at it today is the day before Thanksgiving I guess that's why I'm trying all this because we have so much to cook here let me show you some of the things we got to cook here all of this big jar pickles ball in the macaroni little stuff and potato salad all the ingredients for the potato salad, the strainer, and the refrigerator is just full of too much stuff. Eggs, ham. See, this, these are all the eggs I had to pull out. This is just ridiculous. So. All this stuff we gotta make. My friends call my wife the grocery store because she loves to keep her cabinets full to the brim. I guess they always said if it ever be a, a disaster, they come in our house. <laughs> if you ain't coming here, Bubba. You just don't know that big 357 Magnum be looking at you. But anyway, getting back to our experiment here, let's see what's going on. So far that uh, Tupperware is holding up real good in this pot, but I'm going to take it out at 12.35, it's 12.32 now. I guess you're wondering what's that noise. Let me show you what's going on in the living room here. Got the grandbabies playing with my nook. And the other grandbaby playing with the iPad. That's where you're hearing all that noise coming from. What are you playing? Huh? What you playing? Angry, Angry Birds. What you playing? I'm watching YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's watching Minecraft. So that's where the background noise coming from. 33, I'm gonna pause this to get to 35. Okay, we finally at 35. Let's take a look. I'm gonna burn myself, so pull this off. Set it to the side. Let's around to the big end on this thing. Yeah, pull it out and take a look at it. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, so far, it's getting there. It ain't done yet. But it's getting there. Let me see what the plastic feel like. A little softer than it was, but not nothing big here. That in there, back in there. Okay, getting there. Look like about another ten minutes.
I'm gonna pause and we'll come back in what uh 12:50. We at uh 12:45 now, so we gonna take another test on this thing just to make sure everything's going good. 46. Let's take a look and see what it is. Oh, it's getting there. What's that? Devil egg. Devil egg? Yeah, without the shell. That ain't no devil egg. Yes, it is, without the shell. There's four eggs that I didn't have to peel, but I need to cook it right. You know why I got that idea for? Wouldn't it be easier just to. No, that's what I'm trying to do is make it easy. I hope that ain't the egg. You see, you got to get it to float. That's not the egg that I use for my uh, macaroni and potato style, baby, is it? I can't hide it in my what is? The egg that, I, that you peel. I can't hide it in my oh, no. Here, A little bit longer. So far, the plastic is holding up really good. My, my thoughts of the intense heat of the microwave span out just like I thought. That be, that it would be here. Well, I believe my experiment was a, a success and it worked perfectly. Not bad. Let's see what it looked like on the inside. Regular egg. Break it up for me. So oh, there we go. Can't even tell the difference between this and regular eggs. I think I had to cook it just a hair longer, but at least you can see whether or not it's cooked or not. So, experiment work. Wow, not bad. Also, I, I let it sit for a minute, let it cool off, and then uh, let it cook a little longer inside of it as well before I break it up. But let's taste it. Mmm, tastes the same. No different. Need some seasoning on it. I ain't got no salt and pepper in there, so that's pretty good. Can't tell the difference. And that's what we're looking for.